Hello, and welcome to Informatica's video knowledge base. Today we're going to be looking at the Informatica 9 monitoring console and how you can share this tool with your users without the necessity of granting privileges to the admin console or to the Unix file system. While most of the same functionality already exists within the developer tool, a limitation still remains in that you cannot view your jobs after closing developer, nor can you view others' jobs even if you had access. The Informati Informatica monitoring tool solves both these problems. As this mapping runs, let me bring up the Unix console and try and view the logs from Unix. So let me go to the Informatica directory. But I don't have permissions. And uh, this is the reason why. So I can go to the admin console. and we'll log in as my account. But I'm not authorized to use this either. So back in the developer tool, what we'll do is we'll go to the progress tab. And then we'll click on this arrow to bring up the menu and go to monitor jobs. You'll just need to select the DIS that you're running off of. And it will bring up the monitoring console in Internet Explorer. And here I can see that the job that I've uh, ran in the developer is still running. And I can view the log. I can also cancel the workflow if I want to. Let's do that. All right, that's great. So now tell me how to set it up. First, what you have to do is you have to go to the admin console and log in as your administrator user. From the admin console, go to the security tab and edit your user. Edit the privileges. You need to go to the domain section and go down to monitoring and select access monitoring. I've selected to access it from the developer tool so that the developers can use it from that tool and not go through the administrator. Um, I also have this selected so that I can cancel the job if I want to. The last thing you'll need to do is go back to the domain tab, go to the DIS, and grant permissions for your user on the DIS. See that I've already done that. And that's all you'll need to do. No restart is necessary. Hopefully, this was helpful, and thank you for tuning into Informatica's video knowledge base.